What's happening, Ice Cubes? My name is Matty Ice Cube, and I wanted to make this vlog to talk about the extensive recording session I just got finished with. This has been the longest recording session I've had in at least, at least a year. And that's good. It's good because having that much time is not easy because I pulled an all, uh, excuse me, I pulled an all nighter. I have been up since yesterday and I was off yesterday. Don't worry about that. Um, I have to work today, unfortunately, but it should be an easy day more or less. My webcam's doing the thing again. Um, it's lagging because of all the editing stuff that's going on in the background because I'm trying to edit all the shit that I just finished playing. Or, well, recording, I should say. But, God, I spent over six hours in games sitting here playing games. And I loved it. It was great. I had fun. I missed it. I missed having the time to do stuff like this. Because while working is important, I know for a fact that work has to supersede a lot of over, over everything, other than my family, of course. Um, but this, having, having to dedicate this much time into a hobby that I love, and this is why I love it. I love it because I can be me for me and play games to have fun for fun's sake, and I think because I haven't uploaded it yet, but I played St the Stanley Parable, and it's one of those games where you just have fun with it, and I did, I did have a lot of fun with it, I loved it, it was great, and it made me emotional, and I loved it, and oh, man. I'm getting emotional right now, just, just going back through it, I... I've had so much fun through all the through all the bullshit that's happened in the past almost three years now that I've been doing YouTube stuff of over the 1200 videos that I've uploaded and had time to do I I loved it I've loved it every step of the goddamn way I some of the games, I'm like, meh, I force it and I have to record it, but other games that I dropped and feel like going back to, but don't have the time to sink in the hours to get back to where I was, is, plus the games like Metal Gear Rising Revengeance or the Stanley Parable that I played the entirety of, I did almost all of the endings, I did almost everything in it. So there's like three hours of footage that I've sifted through now. And. Oh, man. Plus like Lords of Shadow or Skyrim, like games that I've had fun with, like Skyrim, not so much, I should say, because I forced a lot of that. A lot of that I forced out of me. I, I treated it like a walkthrough instead of an actual like me playing it for fun. Until I got to the mod stuff. And then I started playing it for fun. Um, but. Like Xenoverse 2. I had a whole bunch of fun with that one. Even though it seemed like it was just a humdrum. Oh sit and record. And do this for 30 minutes. And do these parallel quests. And do this part of the story. And blah 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 blah. blah. Rage here. A little bit more there. But. But I will say, of all the videos, all the videos that I've ever done ever, the ones where I've done it with people that I've met on Discord, because of me doing YouTube, was the most fun. I have never had as much fun as I have with these friends that I have made. And uh, I, I love it. You guys are awesome. If you're watching, you guys are awesome. I love you guys to death. You know who you are. I'm not giving shoutouts because... I don't have time to pull your names up. I'm lazy. I'm sorry. I love you guys, though. I really do. I appreciate 
what Mania has done for me. I appreciate what everyone's done for me, actually, because I, in the almost three years that I've been on YouTube, I've gotten practically nowhere. Um, it's just a hobby. I've accepted this at this point, but I love it. I love it. Uh, and I don't know what I'd be without it at this point. It's, it's helped define me into who I am. It's helped me come out of my shell and be who I am more than anything else. Like, I've been through a lot of shit as, as a kid and even now as an adult. I go through a lot of shit every day. But the fact that I can come home and talk with people and play games with people and play games for myself that I would love to play sometimes is it awesome and, and the fun's not over yet that's the best part the fun's not over yet i'm not quitting like that was a decision i tried to make last year last year i almost quit because of how much shit the channel was going through i was being barraged by copyright claims and all a couple of my videos got shut down almost an entire series got shut down in one at one point i don't think you guys remember that and i i got upset it was things were at their lowest last year i would say towards the middle of the year um but I've never been in higher spirits for me being on YouTube as I have been right now for a long time. Like, not since I first started, actually, because I was so full of hope for this hobby to turn into something amazing. And in a way, it has. It hasn't become my initial thoughts of it, which was turning it into something I could make, like, into a job. Like, I could make this better than just a hobby, but it, it didn't turn out that way, but it turned out a different way. And me starting it was probably one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life, was to start something that I knew I would love and do almost every day, almost, I don't do it every day, I try not to because I don't wanna burn myself out. I These long recording sessions for one day out of the week is good for me. That's originally how I did it was I would sit down for one day, one entire day, an entire 24 hours, whether that meant I had to stay up from one point of the day to the next day or just the entire day. For 24 hours, I worked on nothing but videos. And when I first started, my first day on YouTube, what was it, the 25th of September, I was able to churn out a total of 13 videos in one day. They're, they weren't edited, nothing was changed. Oh, one of my videos is done, whoops. It was probably one of the hardest things I had done in a long time. I really burst it out of me. And sometimes you gotta do that. You just gotta burst the creativity out of you. I know that sounds like it's an awful thing to do and you shouldn't do it, but it you really got to sometimes. And I'm glad I came up with something that I would cherish for the rest of my life cuz I will look back on all of these videos, this entire channel, even 20 years if YouTube is about to be shut down. I will probably have re-downloaded every single video I ever made and put them up on another platform by then. Because at one point, I will do that. I will take every video I've ever done and compile it into a single external hard drive. Probably, it'll probably either have to be a five terabyte or a 10 terabyte of what I have because I have over 1,200 videos and that will take me weeks weeks if not a month at least to get all of them back because but there are also things that i won't be able to get back all the scrapped videos all the scrapped games that i did videos on that you guys don't even know about i spent a lot there's a lot of lost hours 
of footage and gameplay that was never shown because I wasn't confident in it. I was not happy with it. Like, the normal standard quality of my videos is 720p at 60 frames per second. At the peak of my capabilities, it's at 720p, 60 frames per second. Interesting gameplay. Comical. Like, if I'm funny through the video, just even once in the video, if I'm actually truly funny, I've done my job. That's all. That's all that I have. Like, and normally I can check off pretty much everything except the 60 frames per second almost every time because 60 frames is hard to maintain when your computer isn't upgraded the way it could be yet yet because i have plans for that in the future because starting this week um my my webcam's lagging again starting this week i'm going to be starting a saving plan for not only a new computer, but also for another secret project. Because there's something I want to do from here to the end of this year that I've never done before. And that is, I want to... No, I'm going to keep it a secret for now. I'm not, I'm not going to let you guys know just yet. There's a project that I'm working on. I mean, I've done it every year, so you guys should know what it is. But I want it to be the best one yet because I want to take... I want to actually learn how to do proper editing. Like, what I do now is just basic stuff. Cut out a little bit here, put in a little bit here, put an effect here, put an effect there. I want to actually push myself to the limits of what I can actually do with my current software and see what happens because this next September is going to be special for me because that's three years, three. And I wish my webcam would stop lagging. There we go. Now that my stuff is working again, God damn, why? Why does it have to be such a pain? Why? Why? Why do things have to fight me in particular? It's probably because I'm running low on space. No, I have 300 gigabytes. Okay, never mind. Anyway, back to what I was saying. What was I saying? Oh, that's the problem. I... I run off on random thoughts and then I start talking other things and then I forget what I was saying before. Um, something about... I remember talking about my standard quality of my videos. Um, but I, I do... Love. I was talking. I was gonna talk. I was talking about my new project that I'm gonna start working on soon. Not yet, but soon. Cause with all the footage that I have, I'm I'm not running low on space yet. I still have plenty of space. Not I got plenty of space. But I have lots of things coming up that I want to do. I want to finish Metal Gear Rising. I want to start. I was, like, the next three games on my list are the Tooth South Park games and DMC5. Because I want to do DMC5 because I want to play it. I want you guys to experience it with me because it'll be the first time of me playing it. I hope it runs on my computer. If it doesn't, then it'll have to go on the back burner until I can play it. Because, like, my graphics driver could be better. Because my NVIDIA settings, I can't... For some reason, it won't let me install any of the new drivers because of something with Windows or whatever the hell is going on with it. Something is conflicting with it and keeping it from doing that. But I don't know what. Because it's supposed to get rid of the old uh, driver and put in the new one. And the new one is supposed to be better so I can run things better. But it's, it's harder to do. Like, the only reason... I guarantee the only reason that Metal Gear Rising runs so well for it being such a demanding game for my computer 
is because of my driver. Like, my driver is already tuned for that game to run. I just need a new computer. Because my new computer is worth $2,200, but it also has the space for an extra graphics card. Like, at first, I'll take the one that they'll give me, and then I'll put my old one out of this computer into the new one, and that will boost my gameplay stuff. Like, it'll already be better, but it'll be even better after I put that in. Or at least that's my understanding of it. And I'm going to I'm gonna have to stop recording this vlog because my computer just doesn't want me to finish it. Doesn't want me to record at all because I've still got this editing stuff in the background. Ugh. Like some of my audio cut out because of this issue in Stanley Parable. And it, it made me a little angry, but oh well. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. Click the links in the description below for more videos that I've done, as well as the YouTubers I've worked with. And I will see all of you in the next video. Bye!